again. So I hope it doesn't wipe out the last one that we did. I also hope that it shows up. Um, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, so what I said about the audio is not correct. I did not have the uh, phone turned on. So let me back up. So when you are in the Multicam app and you're looking at sources, you can add cameras. You can also add microphone sources. And by default, the phone uh, microphone is turned off. Uh, again, I thought that was a feature of Mevo Pro. I believe that external phones, so if I wanted to have a secondary phone that had a microphone somewhere remotely, I believe that is required for Mevo Pro. But for the phone that you're running the uh, Mevo Multicam app on, you can use that microphone. And because we are plugging in the um, Rode Wireless Go device, and then we have our lapel uh, on, the transmitter on, it is then picking up that microphone. Uh, again, I don't have the capability of checking live how the quality of that, but uh, I bumped the gain up a little bit so that I could get the, uh, the high side around the 75 to 80 percent mark, um, maybe, on, maybe a little on the a high side, uh, but the audio quality should be a little bit better, although I went back and watched the last portions of the last live, and the quality wasn't terribly bad. Uh, just the mic, the the Mevo Start, just sitting on the bench, um, picking up the audio uh, in front of me, really wasn't that bad. So I, you'll have to listen. You know, hopefully, again, hopefully I'm not wiping the original one out. Hopefully they're both available, and. Um, you can kind of compare the two. Uh, we've been very pleased with these Rode uh, wireless devices, the, the, the Wireless Pro. Uh, we had the original Rode Wireless, which was the single uh, transmitter, and then there was the Rode Go 2, which we didn't invest in because at the time we didn't really need multiple devices, and then the Wireless Pro came out um, because it had some, some raw capabilities, uh, the ability with just using the lapel mic, I can hit the button on here and do some recording without the transmitter, and it the the 32-bit raw audio um, can really save your biscuits if you had you know it was a really windy day or like if notoriously when I do go to do a video and the train goes by by our test field, uh, the raw the raw audio allows you the capability to post produce some things and to clean it up. Uh, so that's why we moved to these and we've been very pleased. So that's what the audio that you're hearing right now, uh, just the actual transmitter itself, it has the capability to plug a lapel mic or some other uh, mini phone mic into that, but the uh, just the base uh, transmitter itself has pretty decent audio as well, especially in an environment. Uh, we're in the studio right now or in the, in the shop right now, concrete walls um, produces some pretty decent audio. So. I wanted to follow up that I did in fact make a mistake that you do not need uh, Mevo Multicam, the pro service in order to use the microphone on the camera, on the phone that you're using the Multicam app on. So I hope that clears some things up and uh, hope it works out. Thanks guys. We'll talk at you later.